Hello and welcome to a new video from our Diagnostics over IP series. Last time we had an overview over the changes in the latest IP standard regarding encrypted communication via TLS. And today we will have a look at how to configure this in GNU 14. Now, as a good starting point, you can go to the sample configurations of GNU 14 and under Ethernet Diagnostics you'll find a system configuration to IP. If you open this up, and switch to the desktop to IP via TLS. Start measurement and for example send out issue identification read here. You can see in the response that the part number is developer issue. But if you have a look at the trace you can see that the response here was encrypted via the TLS protocol. And you can see that this is really encrypted in the detail view, because if you have a look here at the payload, there is no indication about this developer issue string. Nevertheless, Canoe can decrypt this. Here you can see this is a DoIP diagnostic message PDU, and you can even see the details about this PDU, and Canoe can interpret this and tells you this is issue identification read positive response and the part number here transmitted is developer issue. So how does this work and how to configure this in Canoe? Now we will start from scratch with a new Ethernet simulation setup template here. The first thing which I'll do, I'll add a network node here for my simulated ECU. And the next thing is I will configure the TCP IP stacks, both of the tester and the ECU. So for the tester, I will go for the CANU TCP IP stack, so it means the global or shared CANU TCP IP stack. Um, the IP address here is in the same subnet like my ECU simulation node, so both the tester and the ECU can see each other. That's fine for now. All I need to do for the TCP IP stacks and the IP addresses. Next thing is to configure the security. I will go to the security configuration dialog and now this is important to add the security profile here at the stacks, not at the networks, at the stacks tab. Um, you can see here the shared Canoe TCP IP stack and I will add here for the tester and for the simulated ECU, I will add this DoIP over TLS demo security profile. And you can have a look at this profile in the security manager. You can see it here under PKI security source. Um, and the important thing is here the name of the ECU's certificate. So this is here server one in this uh, demo uh, security profile. And we'll try to remember this later on if you're uh, going to the Diagnostics configuration. So I'll quickly jump there under Diagnostics and XCP and Diagnostics ISOTP configuration dialog. I will add a diagnostic description. I will just take here this uh, generic UDS coming with Canoe. I will enable the simulation with this simulation node I just added and name this maybe DoIP. ECU and press apply so that I can get the diagnostics console. The next thing is to choose the right adapter or the TCP IP stack for my tester and I will use here this global uh, Canoe TCP IP stack here and you can already see here the display has changed. Now there's a security profile displayed here and this is the security profile I just configured at this stack. All I need to do is to activate here this enable TLS checkbox for the tester and also for the ECU I need to do this so that the ECU can respond uh, over TLS and here I need to add the name of this certificate we just saw in the security manager. That's basically all I need to do here. I could uh, modify these logical addresses if necessary both of the tester and the ECU. Uh, for now this should be sufficient. Um, the only thing which I will change here is uh, I will use DoIP version 3 uh, because typically a DoIP version 2 
uh, ECU will not know the TLS protocol. Okay, so that's all I need to configure in the diagnostics. Um, I should switch to simulated bus because I don't have a network interface attached and move this diagnostics console to the trace desktop that we can see both the trace and the diagnostics console. And I'll start the measurement. I'll send a diagnostic request. And you can see now here in this diagnostic request, the request was encrypted via TLS and also the response encrypted via TLS. And you can see the whole sequence uh, starting with the vehicle announcement here and um, here the setup of the first TCP connection, the routing activation request followed by the routing activation response. And you can see here in this routing activation response, the first one is denied uh, because a secure TLS socket is required. Then Canoe is closing the initial um, TCP connection on port three, uh, 13400 and opening up a new one on 3496. And if this is done, the handshake, the TLS handshake is done um, finally, um, here this handshake is finished and the first application data can be exchanged encrypted over TLS. Uh, in this case, this is a routing activation re request again, now on the TLS encrypted communication. Um, you can see here now the routing was successfully activated. And finally, the diagnostic messages can be exchanged over TLS fully encrypted. Okay, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give us a like below and check out our other DoIP videos on Vector.com or on our YouTube channel. See you there. <laughs>